He said he felt bad for killing them. Yes, that's what he did. He killed them. Nine of them. They gave him love. He gave them a bullet. Now, I don't know if you know about this, but I'm just going to tell it to you again. I've talked about this before, so if you want to go check it back on my blog, I've talked about this. But today is the one year anniversary, and it's happening June the 16th, 2015. Today is June the 17th, 2016. And I'm going to read their names off to you. And I'm not going to put, well, I already put this picture up and stuff, but... I, he's not going to be affiliated. I do not want his. I want his picture and everything way far away. But I do want you to see. I did want you to see his face because I want you to remember. Because this is what Joseph and Omar does. You know, they do this attacking people and stuff like that. We go, oh, oh, well, if we 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 have a lot of answers. But when something is presented themselves, where well, you can fix the situation, watch how we get ignored. Pay no mind. That's how we get Omar's and a whole bunch of copycats. Anyway. So as I read up the names, like I'm going to say, rest in peace, the first person name, this is from Emmanuel African Methodist Church, and this is in Charleston. The first name was Reverend Clementa Pickney, and he was 41 years old. Okay, Sharonda Coleman Singleton, and she was 45 years old. Okay, number three, Cynthia Hurd, and she was 54 years old. She was a teacher. Okay. Number four, Tawanza Sanders, 26 years old. Number five, Myra Thompson, 59. She recently graduated from Allen University. Okay. Number six, Ethel Lee Lance, 70 years old. Number seven, Reverend Daniel L. Simmons, he was 74 years old. Number eight, Reverend DePayne Middleton, doctor, 49 years old. And number nine, Susan Jackson. Susie Jackson. And she was 87 years old. Okay. Rest in peace. You know, rest in peace. He's going one year and, you know, before he went into that church and turned their lives upside down and, and the family's lives upside down as well and, you know, the community and stuff. And we always talking about how the religious law and stuff like that and we have people like this that's terrorists that go inside of churches and create a massacre and we have a man who's sitting there basically going after trans people and you know they see that's a big joke and stuff like that but it's funny how certain things get ignored and he has already put it out there all they need to go out there and get him for what they need to, what they did what he's saying but it says well we have the freedom rights and stuff okay but so did they you know but see my thing is is that in order to fix a problem you have to recognize it as a problem anyway um this is what he wanted joseph back up now he want for gentlemen this is what he said for the gentlemen 
what I would encourage you to do, if you are so bold and to make a point, take your petition and stand outside of the women's restroom at the mall. If any of the women don't want to sign, sign it, just go and just go ahead and follow them and maybe this will be better time to sign our little petition and we can make the point that way. And this is what he said. Check this out. Transgender community is condemning some jokes made by a supporter of Initiative 1515. 1515 would require transgender people to use only the restroom which goes with their biological gender. The supporter of the signature gathers they should uh, follow women into restrooms to convince them to sign their petition. New 11, Congress Evans Gary Horker's audio recordings of those jokes. And Gary, the local transgender community is not laughing about this. That's true. They are really not finding this funny at all, Dave. They say men are being subtly encouraged to follow women into restrooms to make a political statement. We just have different lines that we draw. Joseph Backholm has talked to Cairo 7 before on camera, but he told us he would not be interviewed about his comments recorded at a rally. Joseph Backholm has talked to Cairo 7 before on camera, but he told us he would not be interviewed about his comments recorded at a rally for signature gatherers who favor Initiative 1515, which would repeal the law allowing transgender people to use bathrooms based on their sexual identity. Gentlemen, what I, I would encourage you to do, if, if, if you are, are so bold and you want to make the point, take your petition and stand outside the women's restroom at the <laughs> mall. And if any of the women uh, don't want to sign it, just go ahead and follow them on in. <laughs> Maybe we'll just need a better time to sign our little petition. And, uh, you know, you can just point out. The recording was sent to Danny Eschini of the Gender Justice League. We've heard that it's been set at other trainings. Um, that is setting a tone that that's actually what they're encouraging. In another meeting, back home was recorded saying something similar about targeting a woman's spa. We're going to walk in, Eric and I are going naked to the Lincoln Spa. We're going to tell the ladies, if you don't think we should be here, you need to sign our petition. <laughs> and we think that's going to be wildly successful. You don't look at this as a joke, even though people are laughing at this. Why? You know, I take security and safety very seriously. I think most transgender people do. I think most women take security and safety, especially in bathrooms seriously and I think joking about it is incredibly irresponsible. I'm not going to be the moral arbitrator of what's funny and what isn't funny. But King County Sheriff John Urquhart told us what's being suggested is illegal. I don't know whether back home is serious or not. I think the bottom line is if somebody, a signature gatherer, follows a woman into a bathroom, he's going to get arrested, at least by my deputies. Again, we asked Joseph Backholm for an interview to put some context behind those jokes, and he, so, he told me he would never justify any of my questions with a serious comment. Okay, you see that? Now, he can it as a big joke and stuff like that, you know, his laugh and stuff, but, you know, and with me and stuff like that, as far as the 50 being bad, we killed and stuff, you know, as far as being trans, I've reported this type of story so many times and stuff. I'm going to finish this so we can talk for a second. Now, he wants to push the initiative the I-1515 petition. Has, he needs, he's gathered 25,000 signatures according to his website. They only need 299,000 signatures before July the 8th deadline. Now he only needs 299,000 before the deadline and stuff like that. So if you try to go inside the bathroom, you know, to attack the trans people again. This is a religious freedom law, you know, because they basically, like I said, man and woman, stuff like that. And, you know, and the thing about it is that they're not going after people like um, Omar and, and um, Dana Ruth. They don't go after them. They go after people like us. And the same thing, Omar went after people like us. And just like he's going after people like us. But it's funny because this is the transgenders, you know, the ones that are so Kabobulate and stuff like that, but yet and still we got really supposed to be supposed to be people that's supposed to be saying who is going around killing. Us. Now I'm not going to try to make this some type of debate, but I, I and my heart goes out to the um, the families and stuff because you know it was horrific, Orlando killing massacre. It was horrific, but the sad part about it is as being a transgender person, I reported this story over and over and over, and hopefully. Some of you gay guys 
and you download guys can finally sit up and say, well, the transgender thing already going through this. They killed 49 of the gay guys and some women and a woman who wasn't even gay. They just killed them. We've been getting murdered left and right and stuff like that. And the sad part about it is that their story has already been our story. This is new to them, but this is old to us. Do anybody even care that we put up signs at all? 25 has been murdered. 50 has been murdered. Do anybody even care? We understand the gay rights and stuff, but when we march, we fight for you. Do you march? Do you fight for us about the bathroom? You know, do you fight? We say, well, they're not like that. And we do watch some of the people do join. Oh, and I'm not saying anybody. So please don't think that I'm saying everyone. But the thing about it is that when we have a person that's sitting up here like Joseph, who's talking about going after a trans, you know what? Please explain to me like a little kid. What is so different between him and Omar? They did the same thing. The only difference is one is Omar did who's already killed 49 people. Here is Joseph who's about to attack people because he'll feel this was right for the baby. So did Omar. You know, and Omar said he did he he had a problem with the black people, but he killed black people too. So the thing about it is that what's the difference between Omar is doing and what's the difference between what between Omar and what's the difference between Joseph? Joseph is letting you do Joseph is doing if you really think about it, look at the pattern. This is what gets me with this is what gets me with this type of thing. Anti trans Joseph back home. So if he's against trans, why is it not, why is it okay for Joseph, it wasn't okay for Omar. Y'all say you're going to fix the problem, Joseph has a problem, let's see y'all fix it. Let me see you fix this problem. He shouldn't be at that type of um, field, he shouldn't be at that platform. Now if you want to fix something, put your money where your mouth is. Fix him, get him out of that spot. Because anybody who wants to attack somebody, lets you know that they're not for the LGBT. And, if they're, and I'm not saying that, um, um, as far as, you know, the bad people, and I'm not saying that, what I'm saying is, when someone is letting you know that they're not for someone, they're going to attack them, please explain to me like a little kid, what is it between Omar and Joseph? Except one is white, and one allegedly supposed to be Muslim. But my thing is, what's the difference? Omar said he allegedly hated gay, so they said he wasn't hated gay, they said he self hate he liked being, but, so what about this one? Now you got it in front of you. He done put it out there into the universe. All you got to do is kick him off. You can move him from that spot. You can fire him from that spot. You can remove him from that spot. But y'all won't do that. Y'all want another Omar to come after the chance. And then the copycat stuff. And then we start getting murdered once again. Then it's, oh my goodness, it is, it's another terrorist. So will Joseph be a terrorist too? Because you want to wipe it away? Because a lot of transfers will be getting murdered left and right. But well, nobody called them terrorists then. We watch them get killed in the old backyard. You don't call them terrorists. The, um, Dalen was um, out the country. He's from here. He wasn't a terrorist then. So when are you going to fix it? Here's the man right here that put it up there in front of your face. Fix it. You're not going to. Anyway. That being said, I just thought I'd put it out there. And as far as anybody in my LGBT and my sisters, always remain safe. And be always keep your eyes open. Like I always said before, don't trust anyone. I don't care who they are. You know how I am. But it is what it is. And I look to how you feel about this. What is the difference between Omar the killer and Joseph. What is the difference? They both spread in hate. They both got their own views. They both about to attack people and they think it's funny. What is the difference? Please explain to me like a little kid. I would love to hear your comments about this and I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for thank you for thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Catch the raid and I also want you to please be careful and I love you. And I'll talk to you and see you until then. Bye.